Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch You Want, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the Roger Dubuis Easy Diver 46mm in stainless steel and white gold. This Roger Dubuis is, like all the watches featured on our YouTube channel, actual inventory in stock and available for immediate delivery on our website, watchyouwant.com. And if you like getting the latest news, views, and reviews in daily video format, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want, Inc. Now, this Easy Diver, one of only 250 made, represents one of my personal favorites in the Roger Dubuis canon. He's made a lot of different variations. He and his successor chief executives at the company have offered many different takes on the so-called sports activity watch. First debuted in 2004, they brought Geneva Steel standards of finish, fit, and material quality to the sports watch sector. They also brought the distinctive oversized Roger Dubuis look in exuberant case forms wrought by Roger Dubuis' business partner and chief stylist, Carlos Diaz. But the bottom line is, as much as I like those watches, I would not necessarily wear all of them. This one's an exception. The combination of the white metal and the black, it just, for me, it's perfect. It's versatile. It's handsome. It's imposing. It's powerful. And on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, I could just pull off the fit of this one. Now, this is the larger of the Easy Diver models. 46 millimeters, it's definitely got breadth, it's got width, it's got stance. Now the lugs are nicely curved and they give the strap a nice head start on conforming to the wrist. So you can see from overhead, I'm just barely pulling this one off in terms of lug span. Any smaller, I don't think you could effectively wear this watch, but the sky's the limit if you've got a big wrist and you need a big, fine sports watch to fit the bill. Roger's got your number. Now, all of the elements that touch the skin are extremely pleasing, and I mean the finest available. First of all, there's the case. A nice cushion form, like most great dive watches are, it's basically, if we're talking just about the case elements, as tall as it is wide. Now, the lugs do stretch out, but because of their curvature, they help the strap curve around the wrist. And what a strap. Fixed by screws on both sides, Definitely the more secure fashion, the more expensive fashion to manufacture also. Roger Bui doesn't cut corners, and because the strap is so broad, because it follows the arc of the lugs from side to side, it's also anchored at the middle for additional security and a nice aesthetic flourish. Now the clasp, I always call out the quality of Roger Dubuis clasps because in addition to doing all of the basic things right in terms of solidity, rigidity, reassurance when closed, beautiful finish. There is attention to detail in places you wouldn't expect. The little recurring RD motif underneath the buckle is just the height of attention to detail for me, and it's really echoed in the polished inner flanks of the clasp body itself. Yes, even the inner flanks are polished to a mirror shine. That's Geneva Seal watchmaking. It's not just about the movement. It's a philosophy that really finds its embodiment in every part of the watch. The stamp is on the movement itself, but the quality is evident throughout. And that's true of the finish on the case. Now, Roger Dubuis is far more ambitious than most Geneva Seal watchmakers, which tend to be hidebound by tradition. But you see alternately polished and brushed surfacing for contrast, but also inserts of carbon fiber on the tops of the lugs, on the flanks of the lugs, on the face of the dial, white gold, for this unidirectional rotating dive bezel. Obviously now we've got polished, we've got brushed steel, we've got carbon fiber, we've got natural rubber, we've got white gold. This is a feast for connoisseurs of art and mechanical engineering alike. There's a lot to like about this watch. And as a large modern technical watch, I really enjoy that Roger Dubuis embraced modern materials. They're thematically suited to the spirit of what's being done, taking high horology, not so much bringing it down a notch, but bringing all of these modern materials up to its level. I like it, it's ambitious, and it's well done. Likewise, the texturing of the dial is more than a simple weave pattern. Now I've got the light playing across the dial's surface to show the guilloche of the carbon fiber itself. So it's not just the natural texture of the material that's highlighted here, but Roger Dubuis actually embellishes it and enhances it with extra degrees of visual articulation and visual interest, explosively radiating out from the cannon pinion at center. It just adds to the dynamism of this watch. I've often said that these Roger Dubuis cases seem to be in tension as if they're being pulled actively 
in multiple directions the way the cases flare externally, and that's echoed in the explosive radial flare of that dial guilloche. Now, all the elements of the dial are suited to sports watch applications. You have that 0 to 60 calibration of the minute track around the outside. You have large, easily read, fully loomed, polished white gold indices all the way around, large, heavily loomed, skeletonized white gold hands, and of course, a constant seconds hand to keep track. Now, this watch does meet the definition of an ISO 6425 dive watch. It's also water resistant to over 300 meters, so you're good to go with a huge screw down crown. Believe me, you're going to see enough of a gap when this one's open that you'll never forget to close it before diving. And believe me, with a movement like the Roger Dubuis RD57, you are going to want to secure this case before you dive. Now, the case back shows as much attention to detail as the dial and the hoods of the lugs and the bezel, and the case back is just the frame for the movement within. As much attention went into this case back, more went into the movement. Now, the RD57 is based on the Lamagna 8815, itself based on the ancestral Longines ultra-fine, ultra-thin automatic winding L990 of 1977. Now, this is part of that family of movements like the FPGA 1150 or the Jezure Le Coult 889, ultra-thin, automatic, well-suited to applications where a fine movement is needed in an application that requires chronometric precision and durability. So what we have here is a no compromise solution, a movement that's both thin, fine, and well engineered for the rigors of use in a sports watch. And that story starts with the swan's neck regulator on the balance. Let me try to get a better view of that in the light. But you can see the swan's neck regulator in the Geneva seal tradition, black polished so that it effectively only reflects light in one direction. That's the ultimate in optical smoothness, and it's one of the reasons I'm having trouble getting focus. Oh, there we go. Okay. It only reflects light in one direction. That's why it's called black polish. From any angle but that one reflective angle, it will look black because it does not reflect light in many scattered directions like a rougher surface would. But the Swan's Neck regulator is not just beautiful. It fixes the regulator in regulating index in place so that shocks and displacement can't move it and change the timing of the watch inadvertently. Like I said, this watch is built to be used as a sports watch. Now you can see the Ponson de Genève just outboard of the balance wheel right next to the tip of my thumb. This is a Geneva seal watch that adheres to all the conventions of the Geneva seal and they are codified in the law of the canton and city of Geneva. You can also see many of the features of the underlying Lamagna 8815 architecture including the dual barrels in series and they endow this watch with a respectable power reserve of between 45 and 48 hours. But what they also do is ensure a seamless, continuous, and steady supply of torque. So although it is a very thin movement, it will keep excellent time thanks to a consistent power supply to the beating balance. Now the watch also features gorgeous anglage. Roger Dubuis, for whatever reason, is one of those companies, and we can be happy that it is, that practices the so-called fat anglage, the anglage that is broad, easily seen without a loop, that reflects a mirrored shine from every screw sink, every jewel sink, and the edge of every bridge and lever. It's a gorgeous thing to behold. Like all elements, the anglage, the Cote de Genève on the rotor, and the, the barrel bridges, the perlage on the base plate, the polished screw heads, it's done to the highest standard, and Roger Dubuis makes this movement its own with its finishing standards. Uncompromising, but distinctively Geneva. It's funny, because when you turn this watch over, you could be looking at a standard of finish, a standard of fit, of workmanship, that would be at home in the 19-teens, the 1950s, the 1960s, or the 2000s. It's only when you turn the watch over and you look at the size and the form, the attitude, the stance of this watch, that you realize it's very much a product of the 21st century, and that's to our advantage. You can see, enjoy, and should you choose, buy this Roger Dubuis Easy Diver 46 millimeters stainless steel with white gold bezel, one of only 280 made on our website, Watch You Want, combining the best of tradition with modern audacity and sports watch size and presence. It's the ideal balance for the ideal summer watch. If you want one that can do it all, and heck, with the white metal and the black dial, it might even pull off a suit. Check out this Roger Dubuis Easy Diver on WatchYouWant.com.